Hey guys, who are we all? So welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the next seven days for Leo placements. So if you have Leo as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury or North Node in your birth chart, this reading will be for you. Everything that you need to know about myself, the reading or the channel can be found in the description box below. So we're going to get into your read. This is the Modern Witch Tarot deck that we're using today. Angels and love and light, can we please have clear and concise messages for Leo placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury and North Node. What do they need to know for the current energies for the next seven days from whenever they come across this reading? What do they need to know, please and thank you? What do they need to know, please and thank you? Two more shuffles and then we'll cut up the deck and get into your read. So thank you for your patience, guys. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> now, guys, my nose has just got so itchy all of a sudden. Oh my goodness. Wow. <clears throat> so there's some very strong energy going on here, guys. What is happening for Leo? Oh, okay. That really wanted to come through. Some very powerful energy. This wanted to showcase as well. Five of Pentacles. <laughs> that is so weird. Because before this card had even flipped over, I saw this and I and I instantly felt Wheel of Fortune because I I know that you guys have been going through this, right? You've been having a really difficult time for the longest time, but I just knew that it was coming to an end, like it was shifting for you in some way. And it absolutely is with the Wheel of Fortune. So Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius, energy is significant. I feel like I'm shaking. What is what is going on with justice? Libra energy. Wow. Oh my goodness. You are receiving justice. You have so much that's coming through for you. Eight of Cups, the Devil, Capricorn energy, the High Priestess, and Temperance. Look at these majors. I knew that something big was going to happen. And another <laughs> major arcana with the Ace of Swords. I mean, and the Chariot. So Libra, Cancer, um, Pisces, Sagittarius is very significant as well. I feel actually called to put that aside. You're moving on or you're closing a huge karmic cycle here, guys. And it's it's definitely to do with your career and your finances, for sure. I feel like you've been divinely guided, divinely led here. And, you know, times have been tough as an understatement. But every single challenge that has come up for you, you've overcome each and... Each and every one. And you have for the longest time not been fulfilled with something that you're currently dealing with. Now, it could be to do with a workplace. It could to do... Well, it could be to do with um, a home environment. Or something about your job just isn't bringing enough income in. Or there hasn't been the opportunities. There hasn't been the resources. You guys have been struggling so much in this particular area for a long, long time. I am getting easily five years where things have been on shaky ground. I mean, even, even up to 15 years. There's something about up to 15 years. Like, you have really um have had to step up to the plate and do off certain things here that you thought and thought and felt on some level that were required for you to do in order to get you to this elevation so i'm picking up on that you know obviously going to school to college university gaining qualifications um I'm getting something to do with continual professional development, like you've been 
just on the on the up and up with just learning and acquiring so much knowledge and skills and gaining confidence and doing whatever it is that you feel that you've needed. And it's like you've been so disappointed with because I feel like you've done of all these things, like you've ticked them off of this major list of these su supposed, I'm hearing, requirements that can allow you to live off this better life for yourself. And you've done it all, but yet you still don't feel on some level, if you were comparing yourself to then and now, like financially, you're not really in a much different position than what you were from beforehand. Or like... You've had little bouts of, you know, some sort of increase or a few small wins, but you haven't had that major breakthrough where there is this life changing transformation of you finally feeling that you're not having to just survive. I feel like throughout this period of time, you've been incredibly disciplined, you've been consistent, you have been just so focused and I feel like there's this something this lesson to do with self-love that comes into it something to do with self-worth um, changing of certain beliefs here I'm getting um, self-limiting beliefs I'm getting something to do with um, workaholic kind of ism whatever that is you know what I mean like working too much I'm getting a lot of toil and labor so you may have done so many jobs in the past where it's been paycheck to paycheck um there's been a lot of physical work involved to do with these jobs and I feel like you've just been so exhausted. It's like one thing after another thing of just trying to be able to get by. And I feel like you've learned a lot through with whatever you went through previously or even up until this point. Some of you have nearly been, you know, homeless or you've been on benefits or you've been unemployed for a long period of time. Or, you know, you've been really struggling to potentially pay off your rent, your bills. I'm getting something about a food bank here. I'm getting something to do with, um, um, is it sofa surfing? You know, going over to other people's houses and staying over for a night or two until something more permanent can come through for you or potentially... You know, you, you've been at rock bottom, like you definitely know what it's like to, you know, not have very much. I'm even hearing to be hungry, to not be able to take care of yourself properly. Um, you know, I'm getting having these clothes that have been really um, worn out here. Like you've I'm hearing mend and make do like you have made many sacrifices and I'm hearing you just may have felt like you've never been fully seen or acknowledged in some way by the universe that, oh gosh, like you felt like you've been left out in the cold here. I'm hearing what is it all for? And I feel like there has been some significant kind of spiritual lessons and kind of generational trauma, um, ancestral karma here. Like I'm getting you are this this curse breaker. And I feel that it's like it's not just being everything in regards to just yourself, but I'm picking up on your like your lineage your bloodline, like everything, like you have been doing the work of obviously for yourself on a spiritual and emotional, physical, mental level, but also for everyone else that kind of came before you as well. 
and I just heard you have this like heart of a lion and you've been so brave and courageous and resilient and you know when times get tough the tough get going and you know you've developed a very thick skin like you're you're a tough cookie okay but I'm hearing you weren't always that way 11 11 just came up on my timer and you know you gave people the benefit of the doubt you didn't want to see the worst in people you've had to leave people places and things that you may have never wanted to but it's been for self-preservation and I feel like you're somebody who's incredibly tapped in here somebody who's very intuitive very spiritual maybe even psychic here and you're meant to be somebody who is of great assistance to others especially healing wise right and i feel that everything that you have gone through and that you've been healing has played this huge part with what's happening next for you on this kind of next part of your journey if you get what i mean right like you're gonna be able to give clarity to those or inspiration to those around you and you're going to speak from a place of experience one two three four on my timer you know you're going to know your stuff okay like there's not going to be any doubt about it because the way that you'll be able to communicate or you showcase to others with certain actions and behaviors here you know, it's evident I'm hearing that you have really gone through the mill. And I feel like um, I actually feel quite emotional about this because you guys have just been wondering, well, I know and understand on a deeper, a deeper soul level here, right? I have this sense of spiritual depth and understanding and, you know, but, and you know, whatever the situation is, is temporary, but it's felt like it's been going on forever. I feel like you've been really up against it in regards to spiritual warfare psychic attacks people sending evil eye you know um very negative and destructive energies around you you've dealt with manipulative individuals people that have been controlling or abusive in some way or narcissistic um like i to be honest with you i feel like you it's like you've experienced absolutely everything that anybody could potentially experience that is horrific really like and yet you still come through and you show up for yourself but for others despite it all and I feel like you have been overseen you've been watched you've been looked over for your whole life I just heard and you are very soon about to have justice come through for you and justice to come to those others around you or other energies around you as well especially if they have not had the best of intentions for you or haven't want to see you have that sense of success or happiness or joy or to get that break in your life where you can genuinely feel like you made it but the universe is about to, to show up for you in a big big way in a way that you never saw coming you know you may feel like times have been really bleak for quite some time but you've tried to remain cautiously you know optimistic and hopeful that everything is happening for a reason everything is going to work out for me all is well I'm getting all of these affirmations right that 
you have been kind of drilling into yourself on a subconscious level to kind of deprogram and reprogram yourself and to know that everything is happening in 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 for your highest good right you know the universe doesn't want to see you struggle you know it doesn't but it's like sends you tests and challenges so that you can have the the tools to be able to maneuver such situations because the thing is is like new levels new devils right and every single level up that you have been going through you may have even felt on some level that you haven't been leveling up at all but I don't know why I heard that but I just heard somebody say by Christ you have now that's definitely not something that I would ever say at all that is that's not something I would usually say so I don't know why that came through but it ha it has And you have some su some beautiful new energy coming through for you and you are on the right track. You are on your destined path, okay? And I just, I'm hearing, I just need you to know that you're not alone. That you're surrounded by these kind of, oh wow, I'm hearing divine beings, And they are there with you every step of the way. So just carry on trusting the process, having faith and know that you are about to have so much come through for you. And I just feel like you have no idea how how big these things are going to be for you. I, I really, I really don't feel like you have any idea. You may have some idea. And I feel like there's a sense of humbleness, right? Sense of, you know, modesty, like being modest about yourself, right? Like you're, it's not like you're out here saying, right, I want fame and fortune and, you know, I want to be a celebrity and, you know, I want to be able to have, you know a mansion and five cars and I don't I'm not getting a materialistic person at all but yes you would be able to but yes you'd want wow you're going to be able to I just heard you're going to be able to live very comfortably very soon more than comfortably you're going to have everything taken care of and I feel like there's this sense of an overnight turnaround for you and others may be like well why is that coming through for them They only see the sense of success of what happens, what shifts and changes when somebody has that, you know, catapult into being in the spotlight in some way. Like they just see immediately, oh my gosh, wow. But they don't see anything to do with behind the scenes, right? And there's been a lot that's been going on behind the scenes, haven't there? <laughs> right? That's been years in the making, And I am getting like a rags to riches type of vibe, guys. You know, going from a place of maybe even poverty. Poverty stricken, right? To then being able to actually go out there and fulfill all your wildest dreams. And some of you may be like, well, I don't even, I feel like I can't even dream that big because... The dream that I've always wanted is just to be able to have a roof over a over my head or somewhere that I can call home or so that, you know, I'm healthy or that people that are around me in my life that I love and care for are healthy and that, you know, I'm not having to just survive like I just, you know. But I heard we can do better than that. The universe coming through saying we can do better than that. I'm picking up on the sense of like you have done more work in this lifetime
for however long you've been here for. For the, for the amount of like five lifetimes I'm hearing of somebody that it's of somebody else, if you get what I mean. Like it's all being compact into one very short period of time, right? If you took it, the whole big picture of it all, the amount of work that you've done. And I want to say that I'm really proud of you and to congratulate you because everything that is coming through these bus, well, blessings are kind of it's like it's, I'm getting like I don't know what I can't even talk these it's like something is busting at the seams like to explode to come through for you like these it's like these blessings it's just gonna like it's like they're gonna feel like they're falling out of the sky like I'm getting all these clouds here and I feel like there's just loads of um like presents and gifts like it just you know raining upon you You know the sense of like when clouds, when they get like the full of the water before it starts to rain, like they get more dense or something and it just like, oh, it just gets tipped over the edge and it starts to rain. Like that's something what, what feels like, I know it sounds so weird. I know, I know I get it guys, but that's what it feels like. Something's just literally around the corner. Something is just literally about to come through for you. And when I was like saying, oh, you know, busting, I was getting something to do with um, buses. You may be somebody um, that's been wanting like a new car or even to get your driver's license, right? You've been taking public transport everywhere. Um, or you've been just so used to taking public transport any everywhere and anywhere, right? And it's been very time consuming and you may have not had the time because of working all the time to be able to actually um, get that get that certification so that you have your license right. I mean, I was even getting like busking, like as in, you know, when people that go out on the streets and they perform or they sing, like maybe maybe that could be something that resonates with someone out there. Like, you're no longer going to have to do that. It's kind of... I've just got, like, Ed Sheeran. You know Ed Sheeran? The the musician, the, the artist, the singer. You know, he went from just going to his local town or local city and, you know, was singing and obviously got filmed. Um, and then he just completely and utterly, like, overnight catapulted because of his, his you know, uniqueness with his voice and everything. And he got... You got seen and it's like overnight. It's like something is happening for you where the universe, God, source, the divine, the angels, whoever you resonate with is going to be do doing something similar for you. Right. Maybe not literally that, but that kind of energy. And I feel like you've been in this preparation stage up until this point. But something is about to shift for you where you're having this new life i'm hearing now yeah you're gonna have people kind of hating on you of course right but haters are gonna hate i'm hearing they are gonna be a lot of eyes on you right saying you're a fraud or an imposter or that you're scamming people or you're doing this that and the third and that couldn't be further from the truth i'm hearing you're as real as they come especially with judgment with justice, with um, temperance, with the high priestess and the chariot, like and the wheel of fortune, yeah, you you have not faked your way with anything at all, guys. This I I can't believe we're twenty five minutes in, but this has just been so profound. This energy that I. I feel like I don't need to kind of pull too many cards, but I just I'm I'm hearing that you guys just need to know that you're safe, that you're protected, that you're watched over, you're not being forgotten about, and you're about to have a huge glow up 
level up, increase, advancement, whatever it is, these changes are going to be so incredible. And you need to be open and receptive to whatever is coming your way to bless you because you are absolutely 100 million percent and more worthy and deserving of all of these things. And don't let anybody else tell you different. And if they tell and if anybody comes to you and tells you different, send them my way. Right. I'll talk to them. <laughs> I'll sort them out. <laughs> right. Because, you know, I got your back, guys. I got your back. Right. What's going on for Leo? Nine of effing pentacles. I've just said, show me the money. <laughs> Look. You're going to be more than comfortable, more than all right. Everything that you need is going to be with you very, very soon and what you want as well. Right. So don't fear with the nine of wands. OK. There will be people that have intentions of trying to block certain things coming through for you or they've been already doing this. Right. Um, people with hidden agendas that will see you on this rise, right? But I feel like you have a very strong sense of discernment and not to entertain of anybody coming through. There is this, yeah, what did I say? A strong sense of discernment. You, you, you're able to see them coming here, guys, with the sun card. There's your energy. And if anybody is trying to do of anything to trick you out of anything or take something away from you, right? You're going to be able to see it from a mile off. They're all going to be illuminated to you, as I say that with the high priestess. I mean, I'm hearing, I'm hearing they can do, they can do, they can see in the dark, right? And especially strong with their spiritual eyes. So I feel like you have not to worry. Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands. Yeah, you have some amazing blessings coming your way. Some of you even have new love coming in, okay? For sure. Somebody really wanting to communicate and talk to you. You may have options here with the Seven of Cups. And they're all coming in at once with the Wheel of Fortune. People definitely reappearing back into your life, whether they wanted something romantic or if they were once friends of yours or people that you work with. They're going to be very curious to find out what's going on with you. And obviously, it's going to be down to you whether you want to, you know, work things out with these people or just leave them be in the past. OK. What else is going on here, please, for Leo? Empress. Taurus, Libra energy, divine feminine. Wow. Yeah, you're the real deal. People are trying to say <laughs> that you're a liar, that you're a fake, you're a phony, you are whatever, right? And, you know, people will have their opinions, of course, but you know your own truth here. You don't need the validation of anybody else at all. You don't need anybody else to be saying stuff to be kind of, you know, boosting you up. You already, you you yourself are able to pour into you and give you that sense of validation that you need, right? Other people are wanting to be just like you. I'm getting copycat energy, right? But they'll never be you. I'm hearing what's your secret source. Yeah, with the Queen of Wands, there's your energy, guys, as I say that. I mean, these people can do whatever they like to try to embody you, like physical-wise or change their clothes or do their hair or change up their makeup or whatever, right? But they'll never be you. And you're stepping through into this next leg of your journey as your true, genuine, authentic self. Confident. 
guys wow 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 what's that that just flew out what do we have <laughs> ace of wands Ooh, with the queen of pentacles guys yeah your your career is about to take off your career your business um if you're on like social media or something right you have a platform or a website whatever that's going to be increasing substantially with followers subscribers numbers um you know definitely more money coming your way opportunities to invest properly in yourself with certain things that you've wanted to do for some time um, and you didn't have the funds for maybe you want to treat yourself to a holiday um, or once in a lifetime trip that could be something that you're planning as of right now some of you have been wanting to start of your own family and there could be somebody romantically coming through to you that's been keeping their feelings very much to themselves for a while being nervous to approach you but they're going to approach you and they're going to let you know just how interested they are in you, right? How much they care for you, how much they love you, how much they desire you, how they want to get committed here, like they want to take you off the market. Um, there may be a surprise pregnancy for somebody here, okay? Or a surprise, you know, engagement or proposal or somebody coming through to take you out on a date, if that's not necessarily in the next seven days, it could be very soon, right? I feel like you and someone, you're really both wanting to be together or like initiate, have something initiated between the two of you, like somebody coming through and taking action on this. And you may have to um, keep things not on, not necessarily on the down low, but you, you're going to have to be a bit discreet, um, because, yeah, there will be people who are, you know, out to try to potentially separate you guys, right, from getting together, from reuniting, of having anything more serious with each other. Um, and I'm hearing it's nobody else's business. So this person, when they come through and they just say, if they want to say, look, um, you know, I haven't really spoken about this to any of my friends or my family as of yet. It's not because they're trying to hide you. It's actually because they just want you both to have this opportunity to reunite or get together and spend that quality time together without everybody else having their, you know, opinions or their nose sticking in places where it shouldn't be, if you know what I mean, right? and just have this time that's undisturbed between the two of you with no distractions no other people's unsolicited advice and opinions to be getting in the way of you and this person just being all right with each other and working on things and coming up with resolutions to certain issues if there have been if there have been any right if this is somebody from the past or even if this is somebody new like there there is a strong possibility of new energy or new love coming in in the romantic department right and i'm getting a strong physical glow up is going to be very significant for you at this time you know um people are going to be very much wanting to get your attention wanting to date you very much wanting to go out of their way to impress you or please you or kind of impress you for sure I keep getting the word impressed so you know you're coming across as not necessarily intimidating but you're very magnetic and attractive at this time and not just physically like your whole being is very attractive and you're not just attractive romantically but to many people here um, in a platonic way as well you know people wanting to be your friend people wanting to have that sense of association with you obviously like I said before use your own discernment anybody doing of anything that you feel is a bit of a miss right and you're not quite sure about it in the first instance just bide your time right and you'll receive the downloads or the messages the signs and synchronicities whatever it is that you feel like you're needing to be able to make a decision um and not in haste either right
But this period of time in your life where you have literally felt like you're taking a step forward and going 10 steps back is very much coming to an end. And life is going to be feeling a whole lot easier for you. You're actually going to be able to be in a position and place where you're enjoying your life. I'm hearing for like the first time. You know, like I said before, you've had a few things that have worked out and achieved of certain things, but nothing that has really been like your truest, deepest, like heart's desires, your your greatest, biggest wishes that you, you know, sometimes wouldn't even dare to think about or dream of, right? Because there's a sense of feeling at one point earlier on well I, I don't believe that these things could ever come through for me so why am I kind of thinking about them but with the amount of work and healing that you have been doing and I'm getting like separating the wheat from the chaff in regards to energies you know getting rid of stagnant energies negative energies I mean people places things that are just you know, have been around you, maybe codependent on you or what have you, right? There's this breathing, this sense of this sigh of relief. And there's harmony and balance coming through for you and very exciting times ahead. And I feel like you're about to reap some sort of incredible harvest. where everything is just turning around in your favour and working out for you. Because it always is. But what I mean by this time is that there are all the really amazing positive things that you've been wanting to happen that are coming through for you very soon. So, guys, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Because you're looking good, you're smelling good, you're feeling much more better about yourself, more confident. And, you know, give yourself a pat on the back. Actually acknowledge all the ish that you've actually gone through. I mean, to, to be honest, there may be of some, so much that you've gone through to the point where you're like, I can't even remember it all. <laughs> like, oh, did that really happen? Yeah, it did. <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe in a kind of kind of subconscious or a way that you've you've kind of like forgotten of these things because they've been so traumatic, right? That you've never wanted to think of them again. But there's certain things that are like, wow, gosh, so yeah, I guess that did actually happen and I survived and you know I'm here. Wow. But just <clears throat> but just know that you're moving in the right direction. Sorry, I'm getting a bit choked up about all of this, guys. Um this reading was no nothing like I thought that was going to be coming out here for you. Um I just saw 39 minutes and 39 seconds on my timer. So 39 may be significant. <clears throat> but 3 and 9 and you add that up in regards to numerology. You get 12. And the 12 is the hanged one. Pisces energy. And the hanged one is about having had made sacrifices and then going through the sense of, uh, I'm hearing alignment to get to enlightenment. And you've been on this path, this journey of enlightenment. And it's taught you so much. You've changed your whole perspective on so many things about yourself, about others around you, right? 
but you're not going to be in that hangman energy that hang hang one energy anymore four 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 just came up on my timer with 40 minutes and 44 seconds so that kind of stagnant period of your life or feeling like you've been stuck in the mud right that things were never going to be shifting and moving on forward that's all done I'm hearing you're this you're going to be this like unstoppable force this force of nature and you have so much love coming through for you kind of I'm hearing egging you on right <laughs> really kind of gently encouraging you and reassuring you that even if you don't see, wow I'm getting all choked up if you don't see the bigger picture as of yet you know, don't be in any illusion into thinking and feeling that these things are not happening for you or working out because they absolutely are. And it's coming through very, very soon. And I'm hearing your heart is just going to feel so full. And you've never felt that before. But you're about to feel that soon. <laughs> Guys, I in a weird way have loved this reading right but um obviously you're coming through leo in your power taurus libra virgo capricorn the other signs that i called out earlier maybe of significant but we have heavy fire here we have a bit of water as well nine 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 seven 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 nine one nine eleven eleven 10, 10, 3, 3, 3, 8, 8, 8. Maybe very significant, guys. But that's going to be the end of your read. So I hope that there have been some messages, a few messages, if not the whole reading, that potentially resonated. And if you have enjoyed this reading, um, as much as I've enjoyed reading for you and you wish to support myself and the channel, there are donation links available. There is a PayPal link in the description box below. And the other option is super thanks, which is listed underneath this video. So thank you so much to those of you who have already donated. I greatly appreciate you guys. And even if you don't financially donate, a wonderful way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll get back to you guys on those comments when I can. So thank you so much. Please hit the notification bo uh, bell. <laughs> wow, I nearly said bow. So something is going to be neatly wrapped in a nice bow for you. A gift. I just heard Christmas is going to come early. For someone. Maybe not necessarily in the next seven days, but it's going to be coming through a lot earlier than you think and feel that it is. And I was getting like new bow as well, like as in um, a new love. Or a new relationship. Wow, okay. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, some of you are definitely not going to be single for much longer. I can tell you that much, right? <laughs> um, I'm hearing this, somebody is not going to risk it, right? They're not going to risk um, not coming forward and swooping you up. That's not something that they want to do. I'm hearing regardless of whether they get rejected or not, they're going to come through anyway. They're, they're going to take that that bold action towards you anyway right i need to i need to get out of this right i need to stop channeling messages um but yeah please hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when i post another video for you and you don't miss out on future updates or content on the channel and um please feel free to check out your sun moon rising venus mercury or north node placements um in the other zodiac signs for your individual zodiac sign next seven day current energy check-in readings for more messages but sending love and light your way many blessings thank you so much for being here thank you for watching and i'll speak to you and see you soon thank you bye guys